Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land for a Survival Challenge and here we are just finishing off the process of picking up straw making a crack at start out of it for a sight. So yeah last time we harvested the wheat using the reapers the reaper harvesters and now all we're doing at the moment is just collecting straw. Also in between episodes I've gone and done some mowing. So yeah, we have a little look over here. Where should we go to our cows? Yeah, if we go over here, we have these out two extra crew mowers. I'm going to keep them till November because we've got a cut now and we get another cut in November. So if you have a look here, for the most part, we got everything done. Yeah, there's a couple of little patches here and there, which we, all the workers, miss. But overall, I'm not too worried about that. So we've got a lot of grass picked up. And what we're going to do with those is take it over here to the farm supply factory. And we're going to get hay. And also, well, we could do silage, but we've already got a ton of silage in the bunker side clamp, so... We get straw silage, sure. Yeah, so straw. Some of it does need to go into the manure factory to get manure because that is empty. Actually, how much silage have we got? Because I forgot. In fairness, I completely forgot how much we got here, and it was a huge pile. Yeah, like something like 2.8 millilitres, is that? So yeah, I'm thinking with that, when we transfer it over, I'm thinking a conveyor setup. Because otherwise it's going to take us forever to get all that hold over here. So yeah, it's got to go in there, I think. So if we get our interactive markers on. So yeah, it's got to go over. And it's got to go to here where the front loader is. Ah, fair enough. Not too bad then. Also, mine's gone up a little bit. That's because we've pretty much sold everything we got and sent everything to sell. So that's why mine's gone up a little bit by just over 100 grand or two. But yeah, conveyors now. So if we go to our tools, go to belt system. We do have these, which I'm very keen to do. Okay, that's a short one, right? Uh, what's the difference in the two? Apart from weight. So that links up. That's like an extension. Right, so yeah. This is the Sam. Let's go over to the dealership a sec and have a little look. Ah, alright, so that purely extends it longer. Okay, we can raise it, we can raise that bit. And, yeah, so we can maneuver that up and down. <coughs> so for the straight bits, that seems fine. So if we extend that out, oh, it does it on a bend. Can it go? Wait, I'm gonna have a look here. So comes out there. Is that? two ways of thin up so yeah, it's got a little hopper there links up and a little hopper there so maybe not that one if we return that for the moment that's the TC816 so something that can go up and just go absolutely long 
I think at least it ain't too bad, it's only a couple of grand. So yeah, that's what I want. So I think I can go like that. And that is, man, that is long. But then also we need something to pick up from the ground, so... Either the Grimmy, or it's going to be this, so... If I that, let me just get these two over a sec. And then we can have a little look, shall we? And there we go, after a lot of faffing around, yeah, we're emptying the pit. Pit is gradually emptying, and boy did that cost us a bit, so we pick it up here, goes up that look of here, goes up this conveyor, goes down, goes up this conveyor, goes down. I did try to go over the donut shop. However, it was just just a bit too long. If it was a little bit longer, this was, then it'd be fine. It goes down here, and up, and down, and then it goes into here. And already, we've got 125,000 litres of silage. So, we are... Ah, that's going to be a problem. Because also, we need to put the grass in here as well. Didn't quite think of that, because now, unless we go around and dump the grass in here, because the side's just going in. Turn that off. Turn that off. Just turn things off we don't need at the moment, so that, that, that. Silage. If you can get your short silage, yeah, whatever. But obviously, we need to put the grass in here and that as well. So, I want to make TMR. Because how much TMR have we got at the moment? One and a half million litres. And I want to get that up a little bit more at least, I'll say. But yeah, I'm just going to leave this now. Let that chug away. Because now. We'll focus on this, the straw work. So, I think for the first load, we'll whack it into. Oh, uh, the manure factory. We'll put this in the manure factory. Get that all topped up. And then I think what we'll do next is the grass. Start getting that going. So, we have TMR on the go. 
and yeah, our cotton, that is not ready just yet. That's going to be ready next week or next month. Here, so you're speaking Port Farm next week. No, it's next month in August, so boy, we're going to have a lot of cotton on that field. And yeah, I think for the crops we're going to do next, should be time for you to do in. Foreshadow can't be done till next year. Yeah, got sunflower. That's gonna be ready as well. So yeah, I've got a few things thinking of, like things like corn, some corn, sugar beet, and oats. Oats will be for like cereal production. So we'll get a bit of cereal on the way. But obviously, at the moment, we're just passing time a little bit because one thing I want to get into next, after we've done all like cotton work and all that, is the vineyards. So yeah, I've been thinking about like, the vineyard and that. Uh, maybe we'll buy a plot of land. It's almost like a huge vineyard I do. So I'm thinking somewhere like here, like over these hills and that. It's not, it's not too hilly in that, so 35, a little bit of 25. Yeah, we can have like, vineyards going up to here, and then some on this side that goes up and over. Unless we do like up and down, this way going side to side. Actually, I think that'd be better. I think it'll yeah, look a bit neater now. Obviously, if we buy 25, we got these trees that will be need to be removed. Yeah, I'm thinking, just go up, have like a huge vineyard. I know I'm setting myself up for pain. I know it, I know it's going to be absolutely painful to do, and... Ooh, why is that stopped? If I had to guess, it's going to be the one issue we'll have is... Yeah, this, so... Obviously, we could just keep on manoeuvring it. However, that requires changing everything. So I'm thinking, just do that, release it. And in reality, is this actually worth it? Having this sort of janktastic setup, because obviously we need to constantly buy belts and that, because this is a huge pit, so... Maybe I'm already beginning to regret my choices. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe not regret my choices, but... I'll see how it goes. If it works, it works. But, anywho... We'll grab this. Maybe you could do with, like, a front... Not front, maybe like a wheel loader. Maybe pushing the sides back. Maybe, uh, I was going to just push it all forward and that, actually, I'm thinking. Actually, do we even have a wheel loader? Owned vehicles. Teleanders. Nah, yeah, horses, trucks. But no wheel loaders. What is that? Oh, I'm guessing we actually haven't had the need for a wheel loader, so... Yeah, that sort of makes sense, but yeah, just go ahead and do this. Turn on the Susie engine. Get that folded up. Actually, let's try that. That, that we'll do right here, sec. So. Get it up here. Turn, turn. Ah, it's like the wheels are like at the front. Ah, actually, can we detach that? I wonder. What can see this? Because then what we can do is. Do 
maneuver this around. So if we say go to like this edge over here, or whatever. So then what we can do is something like this. Yeah, something like that. It's all about getting it to work though. Bear with me a sec, whilst I fiddle around with this. Alright, so you know what? That did not work out, so you know what? Screw it, I've got the biggest wheel loader I can get. I've got a size fork, so that we can push the side edge. Because I am tired of playing games, so let's push this 2.8 million to the side edge. Because I've had enough now. Fine, let's go up this. Not fine, do it this way. Rip it all open. Can't see, just. Let's do this. Rip the bag open. So confident in the, the biggest wheel loader, and I'm beached. <sighs> okay, round three, let's go. And let's see what we can do with a tank here. Basis tank, almost, in a way. Charge, and nope. Slide it was going to be so difficult. So I didn't. Actually, wait, let's get this properly set up. There we go. Push the side edge. Right. You know what I'm going to do is. Man, there's so many dots. Screw that. How hard... How hard is it to run bloody move silage? Okay, 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 it's a, technically it's like a leveler in that. Clear a little area, then we can get multiple conveyors up here. There we go, look at that! There we go, we're getting somewhere now. I think. Come on, 
was there. I'm finally getting somewhere with this. Folks, I've given up on this. Um, I'm gonna have a little break here and resume when, yeah, once I've got my mental faculties together and I've actually got a proper plan set up here because this ain't working, Chief. <sighs> Alright, so I think I finally got it all working and it's clearing this at a rapid rate, right down to. 2.5 million years of silage. And when we're checking, everything is all good down to point nine. Yeah, it's all good. All good, all good. I am loving that. Okay, we're at half a million years of silage almost. And you know what? That I am happy with, so. I think what I'm going to do is just let us run for a bit before doing farming because I'm going to keep it on this monitoring and look 2.4 million I finally cracked it yeah let's go this run there's empty and then start dealing with the grass work I think because yeah I think I'm going to need some whiskey after dealing with all this because yeah this is a janky setup like no other. And there we go. So we are finally done with the silage work. And after a little bit of a breather, watching this all empty. And actually, it wasn't too much of an issue. Like, for example, emptying it from here, it comes up here. Still got enough of a pickup range to pick it up and then transfer it all like that. So. What I'm going to do is actually leave that here, because I'm thinking when we get the grass, if we dump it here, it should work its way up the chain, right? So, I want to give that a little test, because if we can do that, one, it seems to go in from here to the factory, and two, we can literally just dump it, and it goes in straight away with no issues whatsoever. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So it unfolds. There we go, turn that on. Turn you on, lower you. And yeah, what I'm going to do is just a little quick test of how it goes. So yeah, let's do a little quick time lapse of getting our first loot. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards. So yeah, let's go and test this, shall we? So, very all we have to do is just dump it. Ah, okay, maybe. Perhaps it hasn't turned on, so we say, there we go, turn on the conveyor. And that's gonna pile up there. And we do that. And 
then in theory, yeah, that's all piling. Okay, we'll turn that on. That's on, so... Yeah, apart from before I turn that on, that's hence why that little pile there. And in theory, should be fine. I'm hoping at least. And also, ah, dang it, no, this camp's just chaff. Because obviously it's grass normally, but if we dump it in the bunker silo, ah, it's chaff. That is, we don't want that because we have a look. Is there going to be anything to use the chaff with? I'm sure that, yeah, it gets silage. But we don't want that. We want the grass to get the hay because we need hay. Dang it. Ah. Okay, fine, we'll activate that. All I think you'll need is one more conveyor belt. I'm just going to let this run and cycle through and do the same thing. Because once that's all done, look, that's going down, right? Yeah, 14,000 litres left. Yeah, I think we'll get one more conveyor. At least, so then it goes outside of here. If I move that forward to the point where it would just normally empty rather than have to set it to unload here. And I'll say that's about there. Yeah, about there. If we get one more conveyor. So yeah, let me get another load a sec. Get another conveyor set up, because I do want this to work. And I don't want to shift everything outside. Just so that uh yeah. Worst case scenario, I'll just delete the bunker side though. But yeah, so give me a few minutes. Let me get this all topped up again. And then we'll see if that works. So, let's go and try that again, shall we? So, but at the end, there's two more belts because it, it was just too short. So, you got just a little one. Apologies, there the wind was absolutely howling, so... Okay, why is that all offline? So let's go and just... Nope. Get that aligned again. So I want that to go there, give or take. That's going to detach, and I'm just going to reposition that manually. Just so it's a bit better. The scene's outside the bunker side, so it should work. Let's be hoping. Okay, so let's give this a go again. So, actually, one thing to make sure it's all switched on. Okay, that's on, that's on. So, let's give this a go. So, Chaff now, ain't it? Fuck's sake. Ah, what's she said? Turn it off, turn it off. Oh, I 
that's all going to disaster. So let's try <coughs> try that again. So man, that was a complete mess up there. So let's try this again. This will work. It will work one way or another. Maybe I just need to shorten this a bit. I don't know. But you know what? I was going to do some more experimenting. And I'll come back to you folks when I get this to work. So at the moment, it's not working because I don't think we've got an ounce of grass in there at the moment. No. Finally, we got bloody grass going in and. What was the solution? Tried one more belt, tried to move the other belts. However, when I was getting to the end of the bunker side, it was just like having a weird issue just of it leaving and going to there, so I went, fuck it, just get rid of the damn bloody. Yeah. Get rid of the damn bloody bunker side, though. I do apologize for my language, but well, not really. Yeah, no, just. That was a huge pain. More complicated than it should have ever been. That. That should not have been that much painful. Oops. Yeah. That should have been that painful for us, but. Anyways, it's done. Finally. And now we get to the task of hand of making hay. Making hay, whilst the sun shining. And obviously making TMR for the cows. That's what all this is, it's just making TMR for the bloody cows. Don't have a huge stockpile of TMR so it can last a while on that. I think the grass we're going to get from this field will be enough until the end of the series I think. And that's because I don't... Yeah, the series is going on right. Obviously I wish I've uploaded more regularly than that but just the love with Court Farm at the moment has led me to neglect this and by spring. But I am going to do more episodes on this. Still, I'm going to try to do at least two episodes a week. Yeah, two episodes a week, and my schedule's okay enough. I'll have some days where I can try to double upload episodes. So let's say one episode of Let's Play of those at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And the other goes up about four, 3, 4 o'clock ish in the afternoon. We'll try to get regular content, regular uploads. And just, yeah, it's, it's difficult, it's challenging, and I hope you're still enjoying the series. Yeah, it's no longer really a challenge, we're just thriving almost. But in the way, it's still a challenge because the things I do. I like this episode of using conveyor systems to do what could have been easily done with other means, but I decided to overcomplicate it and it backfired big time and it was almost death of me. So I think what we'll do, let's have one more time lapse to round up the day. Let's get all this picked up, all this into that devil of a conveyor system. Get yeah, it into what needs to be done, hay and TMR and a lot of other good stuff. And that's where I think we'll leave it today. So yeah. Let's get this done. Put the times like the times free. And I'll see you folks once we're done here.
you see, we've missed the timings and we're into October now. Yeah, it just took us too long to get everything wind road in and all that. And that's why I leased this out, tried to speed up the wind rowing, but it was to not to be. And yeah, so we're still going to try the wind row and pick a lot of this up. But since we're in October, we've got our cotton and our sunflower to harvest, so. That's going to be a huge job to do. Sunflower is not going to be too hard. I think if we do like the headlands and that, get a worker off on it, and then that's going to be pretty much it. Obviously, the cotton is going to take a lot longer. I think it's going to take at least the entire day in that. But hey, it's worth at the end of the day. Cotton definitely is the mega fields. And if we have a little gander here at our productions. Overnight, I stopped producing TMR, let the hay build up. And already within a couple of hours, that's already gone down by half. So, yeah, we've got 3 million litres of silage. Actually, stop using that. Keep, yeah, we're going to have. Not much straw left. But yeah, even that, that's still a faster rate than we're producing, so. Yeah, 3 million litres of hay. And currently we've got 2.3 million litres of silage. No, it's a TMR. And yeah, hay, we're storing that, we're storing everything. Actually, if we sort that for now. We also got like 24,000 litres of seeds and a little bit of pig food as well, I think. Set that to sell. I think, yeah, did I just say, actually, ooh, that, that reminds me. One, not our animals are, <coughs> are out of food. But yeah, I think we're getting close to the limit at our biogas plant, aren't we? For. Ah, uh, yeah. 2 million years of digestate we need to sell and how much would we get for that digestate? I don't even want to know, I think it's going to be quite a bit so go down here I think somewhere here 2 million years and we're getting 1100 quid per thousand years so, wait a minute, so that's like 2 billion we're going to make? Huh? Wait a minute, uh, yeah. No, 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 surely not. So, yeah, £1,200 per thousand years. I need to do a quick math here a sec. Uh, no, not quite 2 billion. I thought, yeah, wait a minute, we're going to make 2 billion? No, 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 I think it's going to be <coughs> like somewhere in the realm of 2.4 million. But even that, that is absolutely impressive. So we've got that to do. We've got the harvesting to do. So anyway, do we even have... I think we've got a corn header, surely. Nine meters. Is there a bigger corn header? Or... I'm sure I would have noticed if there was a bigger corn header in that. There is, but at 10 miles an hour, yeah, nope. Yeah, 6 miles an hour as well for those, we could go 12, 15, 18 meters. So yeah, I think we're still going to be good at the 9 meter ahead or so. Let me just grab the combine sec and get that hooked up. And there we go. Shoot speed, let's go. Yeah. 10 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, this is just gonna devour it all. Set the worker off on that. I'll get the harvester ready in that. So, no, no, yes. So, yeah, that is where I'm gonna leave it today. So, yeah, next time, what we'll do is. Starting off, well, starting off the harvest 
and finish off. Also, we've got two million litres of digestate to sell. And then, if we can get the rest of that windrow done, especially the wheat field, because we need to think about putting next year's crop in. But if I'm going with sugar wheat on those fields, maybe we can get away with leaving it, so perhaps it's not a huge rush to get it done. But yeah, so anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, very much to do. Hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.